Don't eat donuts, rather create your own using three lines of Python. And you'd be creating not just a plain simple donut, rather a chocolate coated yummy and rotating donuts using few lines of Python. So this would be super easy, super simple and super crazy. So let's get started. Before getting into the detail, please, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Otherwise, grandma will eat all of your donuts and force you to have a donut makeup. To get started with this project, you will definitely need Python installed in your computer and a Python code editor called PyCharm. And once the PyCharm is ready, all you have to do is to click on this new project button and give a meaningful fancy name to your projects. And in our case, we are creating a rotating donut. So we will be typing rotating dash donut and then press enter. And it will take a few seconds for the PyCharm to get started. And in the meantime, we will go to our secret knowledge source and which is called Google. And we will go to the Google and search for something called Python v Python. So once we search for it, you will get a lot of different resources and one of them is PYPI. This is like PIP and you go there and click on this tiny button and then come back to a pie charm. And if you want a clean slate, you can press Control A and backspace to get rid of all this stuff here and then click on this terminal. And here we will call our favorite uncle PIP uncle to install bpython in our computer and this might take few minutes for you to install bpython in your computer but don't worry if you see a white like button below this video just press on it to make it a blue one and if you see the red subscribe button definitely press on that and we would be using this awesome bpython code and this is very very useful to create anything 3d and with just like two three lines of python and that is the super crazy part of this video in this video we would be following four steps the first step to create an ordinary simple donut and the second step create a chocolate coated donuts and step three we would be rotating the donuts and step four would be rotating it anywhere in the space so once your b python is ready all you need to do is to go back to the code editor and then tell the b python to import everything it has so you will type from b python and then import everything that means import a star and after that only thing you need to write is called ring Ring is something like a circle or if you look into this, this is actually a ring. It's a circle, right? So all you have to do is to call the ring, nothing else. And then you can click on this run button. This would not be exactly a donut, but don't worry. We would be making a donut out of it in very soon. So just click on this button and something might pop up to give you some permission. And if you want to give permission, just allow access. Or if you don't want to allow access uh, for the Python to run some local network, then ignore it, press cancel or something you want to do. But once you uh, click on this run button and then in the browser, you will see something like this. But this would be static in a state. So all you have to do, press the control button on the keyboard and use the mouse to move it. So I'm pressing the control button and using the mouse to hold this just by clicking on it and hold it and rotate and you'll see some ring. So this is not exactly a donut, but if it has some kind of thickness, you think this would become a donut. So all we have to do is to add some parameter here. So here, first thing we'll do is the thickness. So Say our ring, whatever is the ring or the donut is very slim, very thin, like zero calorie. So we would be giving some calorie like 0.25 thickness. And we will stop this dude and then run it again. Let's see whether it changes something here. So you come back here, it's say like it's a little bit better, right? So it's a little bit better, a little bit fleshy, but you can give it some kind of radius. So by default, the radius is like one. So all you can do is like make the radius a little smaller. So here you can type radius and that would be 0.5 radius, put a comma in between and then you can stop this dude and then run it again. 
Now, if you come here, this would be a little better donut. It looks like a donut, but it's not the exact same color. We want some yellowish, bright and fancy color donut, not just a boring, little bit darker or whitish donut. So we can do it with very simple changes here. And all you need to do is to say like, okay, I need a special color for my donut. And in B Python to declare a color, all you have to do is to call the vector and put some definition of the color. So here we will put like a 400 and then 100 and then one. That's it. So now we stop this dude, click on this guy and you will see that you have a colorful yummy donut. This is a plain donut, not a chocolate donut yet, but at least we got something close to the donut, very close to this dude. It needs some uh, chocolate coating, some yumminess, and we'll be doing that in our part two. To add yummy chocolate coating on top of your plain donut, all you have to do is create another ring surrounding it, that's it. And you already have a ring created here, so all you have to do is to come back here and then press Ctrl D to create another ring. And this ring, the second ring has to be a little bit bigger because if you look into the donut, you will see like this is the actual donut and then on the chocolate coating is little bit bigger. It's maybe like a few uh, centimeter or millimeter, whatever you say, but it's little bigger than the actual donut. And if you understand that part, it would be much easier for you. In our case, we will increase the radius of the chocolate coating. So currently it is, for example, 0.5. So we'll make it 0.55. That means a little bit bigger. And the color wise, we will make it a chocolate color because this is some different color that you can see. So all we have to do is to make it like 0.4 and then 0.2 and then this is zero. So we are changing the color of the bigger ring so that it looks like a chocolate. So we will close this guy and then run it to see how does it look like with this chocolate coating. So by default, it would be in this direction, but don't worry, we can change it with another lines of code. But if you press the control on your keyboard and use the mouse to drag it, you will see your chocolate coated donut with just three lines of Python. So to create something like this, all you need to do is to think and break down a real world object and then it would become much easier for to create something like this. Since you know a donut is a ring, that means you need a ring and you know the chocolate coating is little bit bigger on the actual ring. So all you have to do is to create a little bigger radius ring, that's it. And then define or find the actual color that will look like a chocolate and you got a chocolate coated donut. And if you want to change the background because this uh, dark color is pretty similar with this color, so we can easily change it. All you need to do is to tell the canvas that, hey canvas, I need a different background color. And you can define any color and that would be color dot maybe like a magenta, purple or whatever the color you want. So you stop this dude and run it again and in that case, your background color would be different and you can rotate it by pressing control. If you don't like this color, you can magenta, purple or some other color if you want to play with it. But you got a chocolate coated donut. By default, if you click on this run button, your donut stays as like in kind of like an odd location. All you need to do is to rotate the donut. But when you would be rotating the donut, you need to think about that you would be rotating two rings. That would be your first ring and the second ring. The first ring is the actual donut and the second ring is the coating on top of it. So here, when you are creating the first ring, you can give it some name like donut as a variable name and second one is like chocolate or something like this. So you have the donut ring and you have the chocolate ring. So then you can tell the donut to rotate a little bit. So you can say like, hey donut, I want you to rotate and then you can define how much angle it would be rotating. So you can define like say for example, this is in a radian. So radian is like a pi, whatever we know 3.1 for that pi is like 180 degree. So 90 degrees pi by two, and you can define something like say for example, 0.3 or maybe 0.1 or just one here for simplicity. And then you can say like which axis it would be rotating because 
this is a 3d object that means you have a 3d space so one is your x-axis this is vertical y-axis and your third axis is the z axis so axis would be some vector and right now we want to rotate it in the vertical axis which is like y-axis so we'll say like a zero one and zero that means the value of z would be or z would be zero value of x would be zero only we need the y and for now we can comment out the chocolate and see whether the donut gets rotated so i'm clicking on this run button and then trying to see whether I have this donut. You see, it's kind of like a right direction that I wanted, right? So I have the donut in pretty much in a good location looking at me and making me hungry. So I can do the same thing, exactly the same thing for chocolate. So I'm uncommenting the chocolate line and here I'm pressing Control D to duplicate this line and this one is for donut. So I can just uh, copy the chocolate and make this one is for the chocolate. So right now my ring for the donut would be rotated and the chocolate would be rotated as well. So I stop this dude and then I tell it to run again and I go to this browser and then I can see this chocolate coated donut is looking at me and making me hungry. In this part, our task is to make the donut rotating and rotation means like currently the rotation is happening like one fixed amount. That means we are rotating in certain angle, but we want to continuously rotate it so that it looks much more fancier. And to do this, we need to create two things. The first thing we need to do is to make this angle dynamic. Currently, this is static. That's why it's like doing like one radian or something like this and just staring at us, but it's not doing some rotation. So we just need to make this dynamic. And to create it dynamic, all we need to do is to declare a variable and that could be radian or red or something like this. And you start with the value zero. And after that, you start creating a continuous loop so that it would be rotating all the time. And that purpose you will call while and then true. That means this would be a forever while loop. And whenever you have this colon, all you have to do, anything underneath it, you need to indent it. So I would be selecting the both lines and press tab. So this would be indented. So you'd be saying this would be good. And after that, all we need to do is to make this one dynamic. That means it would be reading the variable radian. And the same thing will happen here. It would be reading the radian and this would be updating every single iterations. That means the value of radian would be whatever the previous value of radian plus 0.05 or something like this or you can make it even smaller and you can do some trial and error based on the motion whether you like it or not. And all you have to do is to just run it and then see how does it goes. It might be going faster, but we can make it controlled. So I'm stopping this dude and clicking on this run button. And then I'm going here, you will see that your donut is rotating very fast and it doesn't look that good. But don't worry, we can force that the rate of spinning. That means we can tell here that, hey, whatever you are rotating, I need to control your rate of the frequency you'd be rotating. And you can put like a default value 50 or 10, 5 or 100, whatever feels comfortable. So here I'm putting 10 and in this would be controlling the spin of the rotation. This is the rate. So now it looks like very reasonable angle and it would be increasing as your radian angle is increasing and it would be kind of like a dynamic rate of rotation. But this is not like only simple x-axis rotation. So we will like this donut to rotate naturally in the space in all different direction. But don't worry, we can easily do that. So you will be come back to your code and then other than rotating, now we would like to change the position of the donut and the chocolate so that it looks like it is walking in a natural way in the space not only rotating but also moving around and that will make much for yummy yummy for the donut so all we need to do is to call the donut dot position and this would be a vector and by default vector value would be if you put like a zero 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 that means it would be staying on the static position if you change this to one that means it go to like a another position this would be static so we need to make it dynamic and for now, say, for example, we comment out the chocolate and then come back here, only play with the donut position and we say, like, let's play with the first one. So we make it 
some kind of radiant of cos or sine because we know sine wave goes like this cos wave goes like this so it's little bit offset and if we do that that means like x and y axis would be little bit fun natural movement so we can say like a cos and then radian and then see how does the single donut moves because we commented out the chocolate so i close this dude click on this run button and then we will go here and we'll see that our donut is like moving right in some rate so it's a little bit slow but don't worry if you want to increase the rate you can increase the rate here that other than 0 0.05 you can change it like a 0 0.03 or 0 0.05 that means the change of the radiant would be increased so we will click on this dude again and now we will see that movement speed goes and it goes little bit faster so this is just only one direction x axis is rotating but we are not doing the y axis and even if you want the x axis to be faster all you need to do is to maybe multiply it say like it needs to go three times whatever the value so in that case it would be even faster so i click on this dude and this becomes like much faster is going right it's much quicker and right now it's only one axis the x axis we want to rotate it in the y axis as well and to do so all we need to do is to change this y axis value we can say like this would be sine and the value of uh, whatever the radian that is uh, increasing so i'll stop this guy and then click on this now the donut not only moving in the x axis you see it's going to the vertical axis as well and since we got some kind of rotation here we can definitely do this for the chocolate so i'm uncommenting the chocolate and here I would be copying the exact same line so that they stick together in the same path at the same time. And I press Ctrl D and I will do this for the chocolate flavor. I save this guy and I stop this dude, click on the run button and come back. Now you'll see that your chocolate coated donut, this yummy chocolate coated donuts is rotating in the space with its own natural path and giving you some flavor. Hey, eat me, eat me, eat me. So if you have just done so far, you will see you didn't wrote a lot of code. All you have written is just 10 lines of Python. You imported BPython, you created a canvas and you created a ring. Ring is your donut and you added a chocolate coating on top of it. And not only that, you made it rotating. So if you enjoyed this video up to this point, please, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Otherwise, grandma will be hungry and she would be drinking coffee all night. So if you want some fancy virtual cup from the grandma, this would be a virtual cup. Please, please subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn more about Python, don't forget to check out our awesome app called Programming Hero. So if you are using a rich iPhone guy, you can go to the app store and find this awesome app called Programming Hero. And if you go to an Android Play Store, you would be able to get the exact same app in the Google Play Store as well. That's all from this video. Don't forget to write some yummy, lovely, romantic and fancy comment below. And if you stick around your grandma and I will see you in the next video with two yummy donuts.